Hi Scorpio, welcome to your July reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended reading to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. First, let's see what is the overall energy. It is the Hermit in the reverse, someone from the past wants to return and want to get back to you. So they want to get back together with you. Now let's see the other cards for more details. First, let's see what happened in the past and why it all happened. So the ending was uh, very painful. It was not an easy one hurtful. It may have been a betrayal of trust as well. And it let a bitter taste. So there was no much respect. Also, it may have been one-sided. So not a harmonious connection at all. Now, what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of is the fact that you want to start a completely new cycle. How you view the situation is the shadow side. You think that you were obsessed with them, that the connection was not healthy, it was toxic. And at the current situation, there's lots of thinking and reflection about should you try again or not? Should you move on or maybe wait some more time or think away on how to be back together with this person? So you hope to have a restart of that connection. But let's see why the Ace of Wands. Is it a restart or something completely new that you want? That you hope? Page of Pentacles. I think you want a completely new... You hope for a completely new connection. A connection that has passion and has potential for stability. And your focus is now to have a connection that is fair, that is mutual, that is not one-sided. Let's see what is happening with the person in your mind, the High Priest, but it is the Hierophant here, this card. So let's see why the Hierophant for them, the Empress. Now they are thinking about commitment, the Hierophant again. So now they are thinking about commitment at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. They want to come towards you because they are still attracted to you and they want commitment, they think they love you. They want to come back and tell that now they want to be serious. Now they want to step up that, uh, that connection to something important like engagement or marriage or making it formal. Let's see their actions towards you, the High Priestess. But they will keep being very silent. I don't know why. Not much movement, but just thinking, thinking and thinking. Not taking any action. That's what I'm getting here with the High Priest. Eight of Pentacles. The Magician. And the Queen of Swords the fool. Yes, they want to restart with you, but uh, I see them just being silent, wanting to be back to you, wanting to be back with you, but not taking any actions, but just keeping watching you, focusing on their work, having the desire to manifest that connection, and appearing very distant emotionally. 
That is the feeling they may be giving to you now. Even though they want to grow and expand with you. Even though they feel love for you and they want commitment. Now, I will continue this reading in the extended video where I want to view more about the energies of this spread. Also, how does this person feel about you now? How do they view you now? And what are their intentions? If you want to watch the extended video, you can find it in the description box below. See you in the next reading and bye for now.